Hey, you. I know I yelled at you real bad. I know I said some things I shouldn't have said. But I was just angry. Upset. You know how close I am to this movie deal. I mean, they know about my dancing, but those pictures. You don't want to mess up my chance for stardom, do you, baby? What do you say? You bring over those prints and we can make up. Hey, we got a problem. A big problem. The mayor's trying to make a name for himself. Sticking his nose where it don't belong. He's looking into allegations of police bribery. What do you say we get together at the usual joint? Talk things through. Figure out a way to put this to bed before it gets out of hand. Trust me, have I ever steered you wrong before? I ain't fought in 18 months. I'm stepping at the last minute. I only got two weeks to train. But the outcome ain't in any doubt. See, I ain't leaving nothing to chance. He may be the number one contender, but his career ends tonight. You just make sure the ref knows to look the other way, because this ain't gonna be pretty. But once it's done, once you collect your debts and your bets, I get my shot at the title. I do understand the seriousness of the situation. Why else would I be talking to my lawyer? But uh, just to be clear, can you please tell me precisely how much uh, debt my wife has accumulated? Do you happen to know if our life insurance policies are, are fully paid up? No, <laughs> no, 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 I, I can assure you, I'd, I'd never ever think of taking such a course of action. No, I just wanna uh, make sure that our fares are um, in order. I have been watching. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. But questions remain. Why do you do the things you do? Do you not see the futility of your tiny, insignificant existence? You are but fragments of a bigger universe. Your sins serve only as an invitation. An invitation to an evil beyond your imagination. I'll lead the way. I will show you the path. Only through me, the Shadow Man. Will you find your redemption? When Atlas dropped the bomb, they hoped it would finish the war. Instead, it unleashed a freak show like no one's ever seen. Three platoons were sent to cage their new pet. Two came back in body bags. An acceptable loss by Atlas standards. Then they brought it here. For research. Gotta get a return on your investment. No one bothered to tell the rest of us. What the hell? There is no sub-level six. Ugh. Execs do love their secrets. Oh no. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Arlene, get me security. No. All of it. This is a code three evacuation. Oh. Remember the drill. Stay together, try to... Son of a bitch! No warning. No backup. Approaching the landing zone. No one left. What the hell? Get it off! Get it. Ah! But us. A fucking 
and hate the Atlas Corporation. When we met, we had only two things in common. The wrong place and the wrong time. When you're facing a thousand mutant zombies eager to spoon out your brains, you learn to work together. Lily shot her first gun that day, like she was born to it. Ah, damn. Heads up. You're welcome. As for Khan, son of a bitch, he got his hands dirty for the first time in his life. And Decker enjoyed it all a little too damn much. Take that, you zombie shits! Woo! We were lucky to have found each other, but our luck was running out as fast as our ammo. Shit! What now? You still got your fists and your teeth. Oz! Ah! No! Get off me, mother! Yeah? You want a piece of me, you maggots? Come on! We should have died right then and there. But Atlas was all of a sudden feeling generous. Stabilizing. There is stasis. Prep for transport. I don't know how long we were out. But it was long enough for things to go from bad to worse. Get up here! I don't like this. We got the high ground. What's not to like? We're cut off, that's what. Damn it, I told you. This is gonna fucking suck. What? It's him! Move. What the fuck, man? Do not move. Stay exactly where you are. What is this? On your knees, hands behind your hands. Resist and we will open fire. Sentinel. Been watching you a long time. Atlas did a real number on your heads, didn't they? It's nothing personal. But one of you has to go. One shot to the head. My head. And the fog lifted. His name is Lennox, works for Sentinel. They think they're the good guys. You bastard! You shot Oz! That thing you call Oz? He's the source of the infection. A bullet's not gonna stop him. What the fuck are you talking about? The man is dead. Well, so were you once. And you. And you. You see a pattern here? You ain't no zombie! Ow! Alice inbound. Five miles from closing. Ah. Early. Load him up. He's trusting you. Move out. Dead or alive, we were Atlas's prized pets. Lennox knew they'd do anything to get us back. What nobody factored was one of the pets was about to slip his leash. That did it. This ship's about to become one big tax write-off. <laughs> Who pays taxes? Hey, no one gives a fuck, okay? We got two minutes before we're all guzzling seawater. Move! That asshole shot him. He's just another stupid zombie. Let's just go already. Come on, people. We don't have time for this. Shit. The Atlas infection blazed like a firestorm across the Western Hemisphere, consuming everyone and everything in its path. And I was the matchless fucks had used to start it. Uh? I just couldn't remember any of it till now. Shit! This place is coming apart! Take him down! 
But you can't stop being what you truly are. Come on! Go, go, go! Even if it's a monster. We were lucky. Lucky? Take a good look at us. Look, if we survive, chances are Oz did too. We gotta be sure. So what happens if we find him? I think we, we all know the answer to that one, though. If we picked up some close chatter, we think it's an Atlas Black site. We start there. Atlas had always posed as the savior of mankind while constructing some of the most horrific and lethal weapons to exterminate it, all for cold, hard cash. The only difference being, this weapon came home. So this is it, end of the line. It's better this way. I am what I am. And what I need to be is deleted from this world. Say goodbye to Big Bad Oz. Wait. I'll do it. Besides, there's only room for one monster in this world. Atlas will pay for what they did to you, Oz. And it had better watch its fucking ass. Lennox got promoted to Lieutenant Colonel for eradicating the source of the Atlas infection. He remains a total dick to this day. But I have to credit Lennox for pulling some strings and getting Decker admitted into Sentinel. Decker finally got his chance to be a proper soldier. He now fights on the front line against his former employer. Tired of the grime and the guns, Khan took up the fight against Atlas the best way he knew how, by suing them. The evidence he has amassed for his case is both substantial and damning. Of course, he had a little help from a former Atlas IT employee turned hacktivist. Atlas may stack the jury in their favor, but my bet is Lilith will serve her own brand of justice when she empties all their bank accounts. I still fucking hate the Atlas Corporation. Years ago, I did research for a World War II movie. I came across some old Nazi documents. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Element 115, necromancers, raising the dead, real creepy stuff. Put the windows around it! Come on! The coolest thing? Some of that crazy shit happened right here. Well, I've always liked the monster within idea. I like the zombies being us. It's like zombies are the blue collar monsters. We're completely surrounded! We're completely fucked! Are you girls kidding me? I've been praying for this shit! Come on! Boys, let's get to work. For God's sakes, he missed me again! Oh, cut! Are you blind, man? Like this. Mm. Ow! Oh. See? Oh. No, Hefe, I do it like this. Oh. Daddy! I do it like this. Get 
back to hair and makeup. You don't look dead enough. Come on, let's go. That ain't in the script. We're writing a new one. It's called Night Shack Massacre. This is a real nightmare. Let's slay some stiffs. Hey, Sal, we must have been through this 50 times already. And we'll go through it another 50 if that's what it takes. 9.30, lights out. God begins his rounds. How we doing tonight, Ferguson? Fairly good. Yeah, doing great, Mr. DeLuca. My boy Tommy, it's almost six now. Ain't that swell. Hey, Finn. You get that tip for Saturday's race yet? I'm working on it. Right now. Gonna shut him up, or do I gotta do it? You know the rules, handsome. No talking. 9:35, the weasel launches into his song and dance routine. Damn it, Arlington! You gotta get the doc. Gonna be the real deal this time. Once the weasel gets the keys, we move on to stage two. Let's get moving. Here you go, fellas. Courtesy of the warden's private collection. Boys in the laundry stashed the parts? Of course they fucking did. What the fuck? I killed him. You've been in the joint too long, Al. You've forgotten how to get shit done. What the fuck? This ain't right. Something weird's going on here. You don't say, Weasel. Where are those screams coming from? Oh, shit. stand still. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. I said, are certain to miss the future. <laughs> oh no, I missed that. Prime Minister Castro, this missile crisis was the last straw. We almost blew ourselves up. Now we invited you here today. In good faith. In good faith. To sort this thing out. And why is he here? He lost. As I always say, forgive your enemies, but remember their names. Now, gentlemen, as I like to think in the long history of the world, that there are only a few generations. Sounds like someone breaking in. It's just a storm, Dick. Sit down. Oh, my God! It appears the Pentagon has been breached. Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like these, our capacity to retaliate must be, and has to be massive, to deter all forms of aggression. Gentlemen, lock and load. Viva la revolución! 
Any last words, Mr. President? Yes, Jack. Any superlative words of inspiration for our humble troops? Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. Good to see you all again. We've had quite a ride together. Back to Scott. The Fuhrer's own stash. Perhaps your finest hour, Captain Jefferson. Anytime I'm taking Nazis down to Peg is my finest hour. Besides, these bastards had a Vermeer hanging next to a Valkenberg. Sure, they're both Dutch, but wrong damn century. Olivia, your field work at Nuschwanstein led us to over 6,000 pieces stolen from private collectors in France. The Nazis have taken so much from us all. This art belongs to the people. And who can forget the Merkur's salt mine? Yeah, yeah, I know what I did, but hold your applause. I'd rather try knobbing a rolling donut before I bust my arse with your pennies again. It's not worth it, mate. Duly noted, which brings us to Middleburg and the current operation. Dr. Fisher? Ten days ago, we received a dossier. Material smuggled out by a young Austrian scientist who's reconsidering his loyalties. In it, he provides the location of a hidden bunker where Dr. Straub and Colonel Richter have been collecting some peculiar pieces. Whatever they found, it's being used to power some kind of experiment. You have no idea what you're dealing with, do you? Your mission is to seize that relic. Everything else is on a need-to-know basis. Is it just me, or does it seem that we're a wee bit late to the party? I didn't sign up for this shite. None of us did. But here we are. And you have your mission just as I have mine, to find and rescue the scientist who risked his life to get us this intelligence. Klaus Fischer, my brother. I'm in antiquities, darling, not search and rescue. Best of luck. What the hell was that? It's too soon for us to be back in the field. Rodeo was wrong to send us out. Yeah, anybody else wish he hadn't survived the train wreck. Oh, shit. I watched you at the briefing. You don't like this place. What is it? Rodeau said you'd been here before. Yeah, well, this place has got some history. Poking out of the sea like Lucifer's middle finger. No surprised stroke came here to this piece of shit island. I'm just wondering why we followed him. We need to find the rest of the sword before he does. We need to... We know why you're here, Marie. At least this time you're not pretending to care about our cause. This is different. We should have heavy fog all morning. If everything goes well, nobody will fire a shot. Yeah, why have things ever gone well for our little tea party? the other boat. This damn island, this goddamn island! Calme-toi. Oh, I can't believe I'm 
saying that. Uh, I wish we were back in Germany. to Britain. No, something's wrong. We're not going to England. Straub has other plans. Hey, you need to see this. Berlin. Straub has come home. Those were Russian forces moving in. Looks like they're burning the city to the ground. Yeah? Well, the Ruskies aren't ready for what's coming. Nobody is. We need to get off this ship and warn them. Attention! The hatches are opening! Get down here! Now! this coming. The horror of this new military force, a force composed entirely of the dead, is torn across the face of Europe. It has fallen on us, the newly formed Bureau of Archaic Technologies, to be the tip of the spear in this fight. We are woefully outnumbered. We cannot match this enemy blow for blow. But with the help of our new allies, we will strike where they are most vulnerable. We will be smart. We will be fast. We will be lethal. But we must do more than simply kill our enemies. We must utterly destroy them. Very subtle, yeah. I don't need any more warning. It's been a grand visit. Thanks for the memories. Be sure to write. But now it's time to leave. <laughs> Such a fine, lots of answers down there. Answers to questions I hadn't even thought to ask. Oh, all gone. No, not all gone. Didn't you read the markings on the wall? The cuneiform inscriptions? Come on, Professor. You could read that. I mean... Well, I mean, I recognize the pre-Byzantine characters, but... Oh, hell, I couldn't make head enough tail. 
How is it that you're up to your arse in undead ghoulies and still have enough sense to translate the prehistoric scribbles of a lost race? Arrived from New Swabia here. Unconfirmed, sir. Task Force 68 lost contact with them over Thurston Island. And we've lost Paris. The team is pulling out with survivors. Damn it. Have Captain Leanne move her ships west and begin a search. Priority one, we need that sword. Sir, I... what is the sword going to do? We're outnumbered ten to one. That sword is the key to all this. The Nazis have opened the door to hell on Earth, and we're going to close it. Invited to the country estate of Alistair Rhodes. Join us for an unforgettable evening. What's your name? Oh, yes, Godfrey. Where the blazes is Alistair? Yes, where is the old scoundrel? I've not seen Master Rhodes, but surely your crystal ball could. <laughs> Was that? 
Good thing you're better at shooting than fortune telling. Now where's the bar? I worked up a powerful thirst. Wait! Did you see that? It means you are not worthy. Witch! Ragged! Pompous ass! Ah, bastard! Ensure the prisoner completes his journey. Is my father. What have you done to Alistair Rhodes? You are already too late. You cannot stop what is to come. Where is my father? Godfrey, talk to me! Dearest Scarlet, if I have already fallen prey to the Order, these are the only people I trust to help you stop them. Okay, Dad. Let's see what these friends of yours can do. 